right, we are shopping at Antique Mall Relics in Vancouver, Washington. This doll was beautiful. Kind of reminded me of the characters in the Dark Crystal from the 1980s. This doll was gorgeous and kind of reminded me of, I think, a Sleeping Beauty from Disney. I know it wasn't. This is made out of porcelain. Very realistic. It was gorgeous with the wood bed. I believe it came with the wood bed. Here's some original, beautiful art. I think this is an oil painting. The frame was gorgeous. I love original art pieces. And here is another. This was a print, but this was definitely mid-century. Very pretty. I like how it had the silhouette in the background and the Siamese kitty with his tongue sticking out. That was really unique. Here are some fun little gnomes. I've actually sold these type of gnomes in the past. Cute little poodle purse. Oh my gosh, so 1950s. Those are hard to find. Some gorgeous jewelry with beautiful sequins. They had some fun bracelets. A lot of fun glassware. Knickknacks. Vintage toys. Oh, and there's a Disney Mickey Mouse. Some of the, sometimes those can be quite collectible. Fun little comics and advertisements. I liked this piece right here. I thought succulent would look really cute on the top. Only $39.95 for something super unique. I'm not sure how old that was. Looking around, there's more art pieces that look like a paint pour there. That kind of reminds me of the movie Eyes Wide Shut. If anyone remembers that, that was with Tom Hanks. <laughs> oh, not Tom Hanks. Uh, Cruz. What's his name? <laughs> uh, that was a cute little outdoor piece. Have a lot of beautiful vintage glassware. This is a beautiful hand-blown ball. It ha even had a stand with it. Look, it's like three times my hand size. You had some Vaseline glass here. I'm not sure if it glowed or not. The etching was really pretty in it. Oh, Tom Cruise. That's who I was thinking of, the actor in the movie Eyes Wide Shut with Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Finally got it. <laughs> Here's some delicate pieces, some oil lanterns. Get another original piece. I love that little lamp there. This was a fun mid-century piece. Almost makes me hot thinking about putting it on because it looks really warm. I love this pattern, the pink fun 60s pattern. And this 80s bear sweater was so unique. It looks like it's dripping something. I'm not sure. That'd be really fun to wear. Oh, I love this red, white, and blue suitcase set. This reminds me when flying was super classy and fun back in like 1960s. And it was the whole set too. Pretty good condition. Here's some old baseball gloves. Sometimes these can be really collectible too. I know people are into baseball stuff. We'll put these on display. This one was signed by a few people. Not sure how old those were, but they were well loved. Really cool. Got some mid-century stuff over here. Now I'm not sure what this thing was. It said wax paper on it. So maybe it made wax paper for wrapping meats or deli stuff? I'm not sure. He has some little trinket dishes, little trinket boxes. I know some people collect those. I have a few in my collection, not too many. And I love, love original glass blown pieces. That looked like a project piece. A lot of glass over here. There's another one of those glass shoes. I've sold those before in the past. A lot of the Christmas stuff was on sale, like 50% off, a lot of good deals. Here is a whole crystal set. I'm not sure if it was crystal or glass. I didn't tap it to see if it was. And these are hard to find, these refrigerator dishes, because usually the tops are missing or broken. This was in really good condition. I believe it was less than $20, too. And to find the matching lid with the dish is unique. I love this iridescent glass lamp shade. I wasn't sure on the price. I didn't want to pick it up. It was really heavy. This mixer was so cool. It came with two bowls too. It looked like it was really good condition. 
Those vintage mixers last a long time. This little step stool chair brings back memories. My mom had one of these. I believe we had a yellow one and I've had a red one in the past. This one was like a salmon color, which was unique. But I remember having one of those <laughs> as a kid. And here is a fleece. Is it Pendleton? Oh, yes it is. We find a lot of Pendleton here in the Northwest. It's really good condition. Nice size, had snaps. And I remember seeing these in Nordstrom's back in the 90s, vests. And I even bought a vest when I was a teenager. So that brought back some memories too. Who remembers how popular vests were back in the 90s and the 80s? Here is some trolls. I think I sold almost all my trolls. I have like one or two left. But these can be pretty collectible too. A little iron cowboy piece. Strawberries. And some more fun art. And then look at all that Tupperware. Some hard to find Tupperware pieces are quite desirable, even like the unique colors. This I've never seen before. This has mushrooms on the top. And I'm not sure if this was Tupperware brand or a different brand, but it was a set of two, oh, Rubbermaid, which is similar to Tupperware. And look at all these fun cowboy boots and cowgirl boots. We have a little project piece here. Very cute. Very well done. Super fun. Now, I thought these were glass. These were actually acrylic, and they had real plants in them. They were so cool. I've never seen anything like it before. Definitely MCM. Super fun. They had several bowls and stands, and those are real plants that are in there. I've never seen those before in my life. I thought this was unique. I think it was a little planter, I believe. I thought a little plant would look really cute on the top of the head. And this is a scale for babies, and it's missing the tray. But if you can find the tray, these can be worth quite a bit of money. And I love the little miniature paintings. I'm not sure. I think that was a butterfly. It was hard to see. It was so miniature. And then these are little Wade figurines. I think I've sold all of mine. These were some good ones. It was a good deal. I think it was $5.50 for three of them. You have some fun vintage toys in the display case. Some more pottery. Beautiful pieces all together. Cookie jars. This was a fun cookie jar. Lots of red, beautiful glass. No chips or anything. Excellent condition. Oh, clowns. Clowns alert. It was fun shopping at the Relics Antique Mall, and I hope to shop again there.